So you know those 90s scary movies where there is a female running from the bad guy and there's usually a sign that represents safety this way, but spoilers, it's not towards safety. Well, this is kind of the inspiration for this quilt, but I promise it will leave you with a happy ending once you are finished with your quilt. So let's get started. Now you're going to be using my favorite pre-cut, which is a layer cake. A layer cake is a 10 inch square and you're just going to be needing layer cakes, so no background fabric. Start by taking two different prints and then lay them on top of each other, right sides together. And you're going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around the square. Once you do so, go ahead and take a long quilting ruler and from corner to corner, cut across at a 45 degree angle with your rotary cutter. Then if you have a fancy rotating mat, just turn your mat and cut the opposite side the same way by taking your ruler and from the opposites corner to corner at a 45 degree angle, make a cut with your rotary cutter. You will now have four half square triangles. So go ahead and iron your half square triangles open and lay them flat. Once you've ironed your half square triangles, if your layer cakes are a little bit wonky or if they were cut a little bit off from the manufacturer, you might need to trim your blocks down to a six and a half inch square. But if you are lucky and your half square triangles are in good shape, we can continue making the block. So go ahead and start by laying your half square triangles like so by rotating a few of them around to form this arrow shape. And as always, sew your blocks together to form row and then lastly sew those rows together to complete your quilt block and that's pretty much it it is that simple so let's go ahead and make one more block before i continue and of course the pattern for this quilt will be available down below in the description and in five quilt sizes and don't worry you can use any layer cake prints as you like. I am of course using Halloween prints because tis the spooky season and I need me some Halloween quilts. But anyways, take two different prints, lay them on top of each other, right sides together, and sew that quarter inch seam allowance all the way around the square. Take a long quilt ruler and from corner to corner cut across at a 45 degree angle with your rotary cutter. Then rotate the mat and cut opposite sides the same exact way. And you will be yielding four half square triangles. So go ahead and iron your half square triangles open and flat. Then once again, a friendly reminder, you might need to trim your blocks down to a six and a half inch square, but then go ahead and lay your half square triangles out like so by rotating a few of them around to form the arrow shape. Then sew your blocks together to form rows. Then lastly, sew your rows together to complete the quilt block. And like I said, it is that simple, but just be careful because you are working with a lot of bias fabric, which can make the block a little stretchy. But do take your time, use some starch if you're having some issues with the bias. But all you're going to do is take all of the layer cake 10 inch squares and for as many blocks as you need for the quilt size you're making, repeat all those steps. Now once all of your blocks are made, it's time to lay your quilt out. And you're going to start by taking each block and you're going to rotate every other block about 90 degrees like so. And you'll continue the pattern throughout the quilt top and you'll be sewing your blocks together to form rows and then lastly sew your rows together to complete the quilt top. Now if this layout isn't quite your cup of tea, I do have a few other layout ideas for you to choose from. These will not be written within the PDF pattern down below, so here's a little extra bonus for the video today. Now you can create one of my favorite patterns and make a blocky scrappy chevron version like so, or just have some blocks pointing up and then every other row pointing down. But go ahead and rotate your blocks around, have fun with it, play with it. Maybe you'll come up with a few more patterns that you like for the layout, but just pick your favorite and then go ahead and piece it all together. And ta-da, here is mine. 
Now I have been pretty busy here at home, so I'm going to be quilting it with an edge to edge pattern that I designed, which is inspired by one of Carly Porter's digital quilting patterns. You should check her out. But I went ahead and made like a Halloween version. Now here is the backing I will be using, which is a plain black and white houndsooth, which I love. Houndsooth is one of my favorite type of patterns, and it goes perfectly well with all of these prints. Now let's go ahead and pick a thread choice. And I like to use Glide Thread for long arm quilting, not sponsored, but of course, as I've mentioned previously, any shade of gray from light gray, medium, dark gray, even black would work, but I feel that that's kind of like a go-to choice for this. So I feel it might be a little bit too safe, but in a good way. A good safe, but I do want to add more orange. I rarely get to use bright neon oranges, so I pulled a few oranges out. Now I was hoping that pumpkin seed would work with this, but it's a little bit too light. And marmalade and lava are actually pretty close to matching, but I am going to go ahead and go with lava. And here it is. All the quilting and binding done. I will have a link down below in the description for the digital long arm quilt pattern if you like. I did rotate every other row on my long arm machine since my amazing Bernina machine can actually do this. I was really shocked and really excited that I finally had a pattern that I can flip every other row because my previous long arm machines could not do that. So I really wanted to be able to finally do and use that setting on my long arm machine. So I've been pretty excited. But anyways, I do hope you have enjoyed this new pattern. I will have a few more in a day quilt patterns coming up soon since I need to make quite a few in a day quilts since our life has been so busy. But go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing project.